It was a hot summer day, and I wanted nothing more than to run to my car and blast the AC on high. Just as I sat down and my dad turned on the car, I looked out of the window and I saw something that may sound cliche. I saw an elderly woman struggling to hold six to seven bags of groceries. As much as I wanted to sit and cool myself down, I knew I had to help. It's me, my chauffeurs, and I'm here to spread the message of kindness, which in Arabic translates to It is often in our own lives that such spontaneous decisions, while not always instantly rewarded, can go beyond changing someone else's day. Rather, it can go on to change our own perspectives. In my case, there may not have been a physical payment or reward, but in the speed of the moment, I saw nothing race, religion, or color. I saw someone that reminded me of my grandmother. So when I begged my father to let me go help, he knew that by doing so would make us late for meeting my cousins, but smiled and let me help. The time it took for me to ask the lady if she needed help was short. However, it was enough for me to know that a few seconds of my time was able to shave off minutes or even hours of someone else's. So I was surprised when I saw the elderly woman go out of her way to help another person start their car. This ripple effect changed my view on the world by showing me that it does not matter how you are affected, nor how you are rewarded, but how it affects others. So remember, next time you see a person in need, the cafe, remember that you may be the first to start a circle of kindness. I hope to be a ripple effect the world needs because for a while, I have observed people's cruel behavior towards each other and have stayed quiet for too long. Here at Amana, our teachers and admin encourage us to be a change maker. And one of the first steps to being a change maker is to step out of your comfort zone and stop being a bystander. The bystander effect is when the more people there are around you, the less likely you are to help. For example, if someone fell down near you and there were around 30 people next to you, you probably wouldn't help. But remember that if you don't help, who will? Make up for the bad things that you've done with good things and show people you know you can do the right thing. We all have something we've done wrong and wish to make up for. And sometimes we give up on the fact that you can make things right. But other times, it's that little shred of hope that keeps you going. My favorite author, Catherine Applegate, author of The Wish, she once said, Life changes, so you must hope. This quote taught me to hold on to whatever hope you have and never let go. So if everyone did one random act of kindness a day, it would eventually lead back to you, right? So think about it. Would you rather continue to live for yourself or make the effort to help others? Thank you.